KSPW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. Had a nice warm up if you were up in the hills or away from the coast. Coast side, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, Santa Cruz got to 77, uh, but that was up from the beach uh, in the center of town, closer to uh, Pasa Tiempo Golf Course. 82, Ben Lomond, 84, Boulder Creek, and 70 in Wadsville. Those darn low clouds just were really stubborn today. Uh, mid 60s and upper 50s mixing it up. Carmel Monterey, Seaside 63, 62 Marina. Got to 78 though in Carmel Valley. And the warmth was in the Salinas Valley with middle and upper 80s, 87 in King City. 72 though here in Salinas and warm today from San Jose to Gilroy over to Hollister with middle 80s after overnight lows kind of chilly middle and upper 40s. Uh, 89 in Sacramento, again, going all the way down the Central Valley. You look at Palm Springs and you're going, well, how could that be? How could it be 75 there? And it was a lot warmer in Bakersfield. Well, we'll show you why. There was actually an area of low pressure spinning around. It's catching some of that cool air in Vegas too. Relatively cool, 78 and 67 in Lake Tahoe. Uh, you can see the low clouds, which are actually spinning up the coast now, doing their southerly surge, which means they're trekking up from Southern California. We're starting to see those impact the bay right now. Area of low pressure up in the Gulf. There's another front. It's not going to bring us any rain. Northern California will probably get a few showers out of this, but the cool air along with the marine layer will be coming in. Uh, it looks like for good here, uh, at least for a few days as we head towards the middle and end of the week. And there's that area of low pressure we talked about that just kind of uh, just head over down the deserts and headed into Palm Springs and uh, Vegas. A couple of showers, but it was mostly off uh, to their east. High pressure will move out quickly later tonight and early tomorrow. And then the wind starts up again, too. You see those lines. We talk about those stacked up the isobars. That means we'll be driving a pretty good, strong west to northwest wind on uh, tomorrow evening and then Thursday uh, into Friday. Low pressure with some rain in the Pacific Northwest, snow in the Cascades and some showers in northern California. And then that wind will start to subside, but it'll take until Saturday to do so. Cooler air will come on down. First, we turn the winds on shore tomorrow a little stronger and then by Thursday, it's all cool air coming down from north to south, and that will stay with us pretty much right into the upcoming weekend. So if you're a lover of the warmth and the heat, you're going to have to stick around for a while. I don't have much of that in the forecast just yet. Low clouds will also be coming in, so that's the first part of this cool down. Uh, not only the coast tonight, we're looking at the low clouds infiltrating all of the valley locations, including the length of the Salinas Valley and the Santa Clara Valley. They'll back off to about the ocean's edge tomorrow. It'll be hit and miss on the beaches. As you know, that can be a little touch and go uh, this time of year with some of the low clouds hanging around 46 to 53 tonight. Again, overcast by late tonight. Uh, the low clouds spreading inland areas of fog at the coast and then tomorrow low clouds and fog to start you off coast side 62 to 67 tomorrow by the bay partial clearing and a cool bay breeze for the valleys and the hills 70 to 75. So we're knocking the temps down, but still pleasant morning overcast and mostly sunny and the cooler temps uh, upper 50s in San Francisco, upper 60s in Fremont 70s still holding for the most part for the inland valleys about 71 in San Jose 72 in Hollister overnight lows upper 40s to around 50 and middle and upper 60s here in Salinas with the breeze and 75 in King City. So again, it's about 10 degrees, 12 degrees cooler. Uh, than they had today. 70 for Carmel Valley, 60s though for Seaside Marina and a 64 in Monterey. Watsonville topping off in the middle 60s after an overnight low tonight of 48 and low to mid 70s still. If you get up in elevation, you'll still have a little bit of warmth left over up in Boulder Creek and Ben Lomond and 67 for Santa Cruz. Your KSPW eight day forecast again showing the temperatures more or less going to be in the 60s by the bay tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. Even Saturday. Now we may, you know, get back to around 70 in Santa Cruz for a couple of days and then we'll warm up a little bit early next week. But uh, no dramatic changes other than just kind of keeping it cool. 60s even for the valleys and the hills all the way through the weekend with a mix of sun and clouds, mostly cloudy in the mornings to start, then partly cloudy to mostly sunny in the afternoons. So kind of a cool spring with uh, what Memorial Day a couple of weeks away. Yeah, I mean, it's right around the corner, right? Yeah, so we'll see. We're actually getting a lot of wind and a lot of upwelling, which we normally have in April. We're getting it now in May, so the water temperatures are I guess really that cold. Would, yeah, so that would make sense. Right? Yeah. So we're a little late. We're a little late. Yeah. Well, winter kind of lasted a while. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to go away. A little longer away. than usual. Yeah. Exactly. Yep.